Hello, this is Nate Trimmer from OmniBeat, and in this short video, we'll be showing you how to create a Facebook event from your Facebook fan page. First things first, in the web browser, let's navigate to Facebook.com. Now, in this case, I'm going to log in as myself, my account, because I am the administrator of the Facebook fan page that I wish to create an event for. So I'll quickly log in. And in order to find the page that I want to create the event for, I'll use the search bar up here at the top, and it's the NHC Martial Arts and Fitness, the Aikido Center, and I'll click that to navigate to it. You're now seeing that I am at the administration panel, and up at the top where Manage is, I'll click that drop down, and I'm going to click Use Facebook as NHC. What this does is it puts me in administration mode and I'm operating as the page to create the event. I'm going to scroll down, past the panel, past the cover photo, right here to the events tab. It's the events application. I'll click that. And the opportunity I have now is to create an event up at the top here. I'll click that. Event name, that's first. It is the Hopkido Makeup Camo Black Belt Level Test. The event is on April 20th. It's a start time of 3.30 and an end time, same day, of 7.30. Now, location. When I click here, it assumes that I might be holding the event at my physical location of my business page, which I am. It's at the Hapkido Center. So I'll click that. Now, details. This is where I can add information regarding the event that I want my in invited parties to know about. So for the sake of this video, I've already typed up and written out on a, a, another page the details, and I'm just copying and pasting them here. It's basically a notice that all test applications are due two days before the test date and the various uh, categories of testing that will occur and the times. Now, before I create the event, I want to look at these two items. Show the guest list on the event page. This allows anyone to see who's attending. That's great. Non-admins can write on the wall. This is also good. This allows our fans and friends to post concepts, questions, ideas on the wall of the event. Last thing, let's add an event photo to round this event out. We'll do that over here. And this pops up the dialog to browse. I've already saved a photo on my desktop, so I'm just going to browse to it and download it. In this case, I'm uploading it up. Here we are. We're all set. Time to create the event. And there we have it. We've got an event created, all the details. And the next step will be to invite friends. So in order to do that, we'll click the edit, review that we're all good, we are. Go back to save. We're going to share this post with the fan page to allow everyone to see it. So we'll click share. It's going to write it on the NHC Martial Arts and Fitness page and we'll write a very brief uh, post. We are looking forward to our makeup, our, our uh, let's just call it our Hop Keto test on April 20th. Please join our event and share with your friends, fellow students, and family members. And we'll share. That just posted to the event, uh, posted the event to the fan page for all to see. So let's click the profile button to jump back to the fan page to see what happened. We'll scroll down. And there we are. We are looking forward to our hot keto test on April 20th. The details are here. One thing that we want to do is click the edit button and we're going to pin this to the top. In doing so, 
I'll scroll down. That will now sit with the pin at the top of our fan page for the next seven days, which is perfect. And that's it. That's created an event and posted it. You'll also want to visit the event page as yourself to invite friends and share on your personal fan page. I'm sorry, your personal profile. You'll also want to ask your staff and students to share the event. So before we go, let me show you how to go back to the Manage tab and jump back to your personal account. So now, as you can see, I'm operating as Nate. If I scroll down to the at event page, well, a little, went a little far there. We're at the event page. We'll click it. I can decide to join, decline, and I can edit the event and I can invite friends. I can select guests. In doing so, I can select guests that are personal friends of my profile page. And I can say close friends, I can say all, whatever it might be. And in this case, I'm going to just simply search. And let's say we search for John Zahn. We add him. Save and close. That's going to send the event directly to him. So you'll want to do that with your uh, fellow students, your uh, staff members, and friends on Facebook to get them to begin sharing to their wall. And there you have it.